Hello, welcome to LNC and Knowledge, lyrics music channel of spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so before we get into this message, I will definitely be using my Shamanic Drum to clear the space from the last reading, welcoming your spirit guides and my spirit guides to deliver you this message clear and strong, okay? So here we go, turn down the um, headphones if you have headphones, but yeah. Okay, so today the message that I have for you is heaven has a perfect plan for your life it's so crazy how they tell us that you know what's your plan what's your future like what do you have and now i'm hearing somebody say because i've heard this before they're like if you're not if you don't have a plan for the next five years don't get me wrong on how i'm saying this but they're saying like if you don't have a plan then that's how certain people pass away early because they're just going through life with no type of guidance or direction they're just living life just to be living right and it's i didn't i don't think i even said that right but i'm not saying that you, since you don't have a plan right now you're going to ascend you're going to leave this earth soon no that's not what i mean but i'm just telling you something that i've heard as a child growing up just like because you know how boys you know they they live that hot hot boy life and they just want to be in gangs rob steal kill or just be this type of bad guy or something and they end up going to jail or they end up getting killed right so that's why he's saying he is because it was a man who told me this um he created a plan for his life and that's how he became successful right so instead of creating your own plan, how about tapping in to the plan that heaven already has for you? So it's like we could be sitting here planning something, even weddings or just major changes and events for our lives when God already has his hands on you in your life, right? So that's when I take a million steps back and say, you know what, God, I want what you want for me. I want the plan that you already have for me because the plans that I've been trying to create because I, I tried to create I tried to manifest a whole new reality for me and it was not even what I truly wanted it it's what my ego wanted it's what my human mind wanted right but then there's a spiritual plan that was already orchestrated before I got here so why not tap into that plan or surrender to that plan that God has for you? And how can you find out that plan? Definitely by meditating with your spirit guides. Definitely by meditating with God. He'll send you downloads and thoughts that you would need to write down. So then that's your plan. Instead of just like impulsively planning or just have a plan with purpose, you know? Um, that's what I'm hearing right now. But yeah. God has a perfect, heaven has a perfect plan for your life already. So there may be a situation that you're going through right now. You may not feel like you, you see, you're not seeing the light or you're just, you're not having full, full belief in the future for yourself. And when I say belief, like believing that it could be positive, believing that yes, we go through ups and downs, but most of the time in our life, we should definitely be happy. Um, it shouldn't be us always sad and then only having happy moments. Um, that should only be a cycle or a karmic cycle. So God's saying, this is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come out um, is far better than you dared to dream. 
like I'll just give you guys a little background information on my plan what I tried to plan in my life and how it went the total opposite like everything everything that I've written down it was the opposite of all of that and it was me wanting to be in a relationship with a specific person because that's the person who I gave my virginity to. I was just like, okay, this is this is it. This is it. This is him. I'm not going to be mixing and mingling with anybody else. This is the person that I'm deciding to be with. So now I'm sitting here writing a paper that's like an oath. I'm wanting him to sign an oath. But I never gave him this paper or anything. It's crazy because I just found it this year. Crumbled that thing up and put it in the trash. I did not burn it because... The reason why I didn't burn it is because I use, that's how I manifest. I burn, I write what I want, burn it, put it in the grass. So hell no, I wasn't finna burn that shit. I'm like, God, I don't want no juju. I do not want this. I crumbled it up, ripped it up, put it in the trash. So um, with that being said, like I really wanted, I even named the child. Like there was, it was so deep. I was very detailed with how I wanted it to be. I wanted us to be, um youtubers on like showing how we manage to keep how we have a healthy relationship and how to grow a relationship or how to be um in a positive a, a positive influence in a relationship to the world i wanted to lead other people to be in happy relationships or happy foundations when in all reality I wasn't happy and it wasn't even a foundation and it wasn't even commitment um I really like I'm trying to tell you I tried to like it's super deep it's super deep I'm not even gonna tap into that 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 information but it was just so 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 deep on how I was trying to bring it to fruition but guess what couldn't get pregnant at all never not once got pregnant but I've been with him and we never used um we never used protection Never, not once. Out of that whole time, I got on birth control one time for three months, but that was literally going towards the end. And the whole other years, I wasn't using any protection. It was never getting pregnant. I was actually believing, like, damn, I just can't have babies or something. Is that what it is? No, that's not what it is, Lyric. And this is me talking to myself. God had something way much bigger for you. You, if, if I would have had a child at such a young age i would have been so closed out to the world closed-minded because then i'm in defense mode now i feel like i have to protect my child from the world um i had to i want then it would make me like a hermit it would keep me in that turtle because i would just be wanting to put my all into my child growing them and teaching them and i just wouldn't even I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been doing music. I probably wouldn't even been doing this tarot reading. I wouldn't have been doing any of this if I were to have a kid. If everything I planned would have went out the way I wanted it to be. And it was just times where I really cried so bad because it was something that I truly wanted in my soul. But that wasn't what was meant for me. You know, that person wasn't meant for me. Um, his family wasn't meant to bond legacies we weren't meant to do any of that it was just a, a karmic cycle a toxic karmic cycle and yes I had my father in my life but I definitely was so sheltered to the point where it made me want to not be around my dad it made me not want to be around what I was stuck to like as a 17 year old kid I just I couldn't go to the movies I couldn't do nothing that all these other girls and boys are doing and yes they they got kids now yes things happen to them but it was like I never got to do that go to parties none of that I was just everything was strict with me so once I got that little piece of freedom at 17 years old I was like no I don't ever want to go back to not being able to go places and that's why I started to live with him and I wanted to just be around him because he had more freedom that was the truth if I want to be real with myself um but yeah, so with that being said, there may be a situation in your life. Maybe you have a, you've lost somebody, um, and my deepest condolences for that too. If you have lost somebody, or if you had to walk away from a toxic relationship or family members that didn't serve you, um, I'm just hearing this is a relationship though, like a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife relationship, fiance relationship, and it just didn't turn out right. Um, this person was a backstabber. They betrayed you. They lied to you. 
they breadcrumb you. They just didn't, they were emotionally cut off. Um, they weren't even hearing you for real when you guys had communication. It wasn't the best communication at all. This person is very materialistic and they, they like the, um, they like the fast life or they like material things. They're not really into spirituality. Um, they're more into like what they can see, feel, um, and touch in the physical is what I'm hearing. Um, this person likes people who have their own money also. And it's like, maybe you didn't have as much when you were with them. And it's like, duh, because they wasn't, they wasn't going to take from you. And if you did have a lot of money or you did have some money, they just wanted to take it. They wanted to, they only saw you beneficial because of what you have materially. They didn't really see you on eye to eye in the spirit is what I'm hearing. So it's like, you had to heal yourself. You had to bring more balance to your life. Now you're this earth angel and you're figuring out, I have my own power. I have healing abilities. I have psychic abilities. Now nobody can treat me, trick me. No narcissistic, no none of that because I have discernment now. Nothing can bring me down and I know that I'm with God. I know that spirit is with me. I know that I'm not alone. Maybe in this relationship, you still felt alone, felt alone you know, or this person was blocking you from your spirit guides and you didn't even know they were blocking you from advancing in the spiritual realm i'm seeing you laying down and in deep thought and deep meditation about how your life should go or what's going to happen for your life or how am i going to be able to take this this change how am i going to be able to advance um and now you're in your power because you left this person alone you walked away from what no longer served you what was no longer benefiting you even if you guys been with each other for eight years 18 years eight months five years 17 years 20 years but you realize it wasn't about the history no more. It doesn't mean, okay, I'm not going to stay with you just because we've been together for this long or because I spent half of my life with you. I'm not going to stay codependent to somebody who isn't even appreciating me and value, valuing me, right? Um, I'm hearing like this person is still, uh, I, their eyes roam is what I'm hearing. Like they, they like to see new women uh, or different bodies or different... They just like a lot of different things. They don't like to be committed to one person. This person didn't want to be tied down is what I'm hearing. And you just had to just walk away because you see they weren't emotionally mature or spiritually mature for your you and your level is what I'm hearing. Um, you're definitely getting ready for more. You're ready for more in life. Um, I'm hearing like you should buy yourself flowers, have flower plants or become a plant mom or you are a plant mom is what I'm hearing. Um, your career is definitely growing and blossoming. It's like you 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 take a pause on the love life, and now you're just like, okay, I'm gonna focus on my foundation and what I want to build for myself now. So definitely, if you're putting time into your career, it's definitely gonna blow and grow grow and bloom for you for the best outcome. Now is the time to make changes you have been contemplating. So now God wants you to take action in your career, and um, He's gonna definitely help and guide you with that. Meditate with Him to ask. What's the next move for me, God? You know, um, even if it's eating, what's the, what should I eat today, God? Instead of me deciding what I want to eat, what does God want me to eat today? Because today I might get an upset stomach by eating something that I that I want mentally, but God has something else for me that's gonna he, that's gonna feed my soul. So definitely eating food that is from your roots, like something that you that was traditional or something that you had. Now I'm talking about a past life, some, some food that you ate in a past life, you can eat in this life again, and that's going to help awaken you. Food, I'm hearing like you're a, a very good cook. Um, your food heals, heals people. God is calling you to trust your angels right now. Let go of your expe expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan for you, okay? Just believe in what God already has for you. Like... You don't have to do everything by yourself anymore. And you know that. But, yeah, that's, that's all I'm getting for you guys today. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.